Hello everyone, this is my review of Last Night in Soho. It was produced, directed, written, and the screenplay was by Edgar Wright, a very accomplished filmmaker. Anya Taylor-Joy, Thomas and Mackenzie, and Matt Smith portray this movie that is a reoccurring nightmare of uncovering a murder that was in the past. Also with someone who is an intuitive, the fashion designer who is Thomas and Mackenzie, Eloise, that pursues her dream of being a fashion designer in North London that starts to dream and manifest this dream of Sandy, of a woman who is in the 60s that wanted to pursue a career in being a singer and gets connected to Matt Smith. His character is a James Dean-like character. He knows everybody at these nightclubs and he promises her that she's going to be a singer, but really what he does is turn her into a bar whore. And really this reoccurring thing of objectifying women is a similar theme that goes on within the movie. Also where the scenes where she is not singing and she's dancing on there, not really clothed very well and a lot of the women as the act for the men. Also the very fact that this girl wants to be this image of what Sandy represents to her, this fashion designer. She starts making a dress that's eerily similar within the dream. The dreamscapes in this movie are great. The camera angles in this movie are great. And everything you see, rather it's a note on the ground, rather it's someone off camera. Also the performances in this movie are really, really good. And also I love the scenes where she's in the bed and the bed is really big and open. And then she's walking down this alleyway. And then she's looking at the reflection of the mirror during the staircase within this nightclub. And she sees herself as Sandy living out this dream, living out this fantasy. But then this fantasy turns into something vile and disgusting and really ownership, possession of a person and making them do things that they don't want to do to the point where they want to really murder anybody that they had sex with and also the person who forced them to do it. And I really love the chemistry uh, within this movie of the very fact that all the actors know who they are. There's nobody in this movie that seems off or that seems off the wall. And also the very fact that this movie made me remind me of Snake Eyes. That was a movie back in the 90s with Gary Sinise and Nicolas Cage. Because when the camera is working, it follows everybody. You see everything. I love the ending scene where there was a staircase and she's almost being stabbed by Sandy, who is the older lady that lives with her. Um, so there's really a lot of interesting things about this movie. And also the very fact that it really encompasses her being an intuitive and then the nightmare becomes more of her reality. And she's trying to uncover this mystery of why this even happened because she at first thinks that it's one thing and then it turns into a whole different thing. So it's like a nightmare that turns into a murder mystery. It's beautiful, it's edgy, it's gory, it's just bombastic and bonkers at the end. I mean, this movie just delivers. I mean, it just literally delivers on what you're looking for. And also it just delivers on the very fact that as the viewer, it's a beautiful cinematic experience. You're never bored wherever the camera goes. You're never bored with the performances. And also the very fact that Sandy, the person who is portraying Anya Taylor-Joy, um, is every person's fantasy. She really does the 1960s things. She has like the hair and does the dances. And I love that part of it. I love the, her singing performance. Uh, talking about going downtown, you know, in the city and just having a good time. I thought that was a beautiful performance. And even the love interest in this movie where she's connected, Eloise is connected to this younger guy. I think he really cares about her. The chemistry there romantically is, is there. And the only thing that I don't really care for about this movie is the men that are the spirits of the men. Um, the only time I really think that they're good is when Eloise is following Sandy down an alleyway and they're all trying to, you know, tackle her or, you know, the hands poking through uh, the floorboards in the place that she's staying with the old woman who is Sandy. 
uh, work, you know, and also telling her like you need to, you know, basically kill her. Um, so there's a lot of things that work. Most of everything in this movie works. The men kind of, I could do without. I understand the idea. They look like something from the Black Plague, but other than that, um, this movie really left an impression on me because of the very fact that it just goes there and it just keeps delivering and you're never bored. And I think it's probably the best movie that I've reviewed on the channel so far because of the very fact that everybody knows who they are. The camera work is some of Edgar Wright's best. I have to say this is probably like his best movie. He just delivers. He knows where to place the camera. I mean, this is a thriller. This is suspense. This is horror. And also even the uh, killing scenes, they're almost a little animated, but they do get the trick and they do convey what they're trying to convey. But I mean, when it gets to the end of the movie, there's so many twists and turns. I love that. It keeps you engaged. It keeps you interested. And it's just beautiful. It's beautiful storytelling. You know, even though it's about a subject matter that is very heinous and very out there, but it's beautiful. And I would recommend that you don't really have to watch this movie once because it really just gives what you need all in one take. And I wish more movies would do that. And also the very fact that this movie isn't just a movie, but it shows like, you know, what's around us all the time intuitively. And generally I don't review stuff that I feel doesn't strike a chord with me intuitively. And last night I always ask Spirit if I'm supposed to watch it. And at first I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch that. But then, uh, it, but it was, it really just worked. Everything worked in this movie. The actors work, the writing works, the stuff about her being intuitive and seeing everything. And then, you know, the past reality is in the present reality. That was spot on. Um, I think this movie just hits its marks. And I think it's probably Edgar Wright's best film. And I think you guys should check it out.